Slock you, Locky you know, uh, Satan fucking with the feed, man. <laughs> he, didn't yeah. like, he didn't like we that when this came we, out. We're not even <laughs> online, man. We were recording it hard, hard way. Yeah. And it, the shit still, you know. Yeah, it just shut off, man. <laughs> you just shut the whole phone down. <laughs> yeah. You didn't like that shit. Had plenty of battery life, plenty of space. Hey, hey, you know, you know what? Know? Hey, that's, hey, you know, that goes to show the time we in because we were just talking about how these spirits are turned up, man. And they acting up, man. You hopping on, brothers, and fucking with their cars and, and, and shit, you mm -hmm. know. You know, spiritual demon Satan, you know, he, he's busy right now. You know, he's, he's he gets irritated when he can't get you. Because, you know, he tries to make a wager with your house shy. You know, hey, I bet you, you know, he's not going to do this. I bet mm -hmm. you're not going to come to this lesson. I bet you're not going to pray. I bet you're not going to fast, you know. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when you're in the midst of speaking on something heavy spiritual, he can come and, you know, just out of <laughs> out of pettiness, Bro, shut your damn phone off. <laughs> petty as hell. Hey, but hey, you know what? Hey, I ain't mad at this fucking devil. He's doing his job. But, you know, hey, let's just go to show we doing the right thing, too. Yeah. So, you know, you're on the right track. You know? <laughs> God. <laughs> God. But, yeah, we was just speaking on, you know, how, you know, the history of, of, of things. Of, you don't don't allow your, your children to pass through the fire, man. You're not innocent and participate in all these these pagan days, man. Yeah. And by the way, modern day A-B-O-R-T-I-O-N is, is the same thing. Right. It's like I said, you don't have to be literally drinking blood to be mm -hmm. in the spirit of those feasts that were celebrated drinking the blood. That's right. Just man. like you don't have to literally put your kid in literal fire to be in that spirit. That's right. You man. know, that's right. Because, you know, going to um, do away with the child, that's that's murder, man. There's no other way you can put it. And that's Esau's subliminal way of convincing masses amount of millions of people to participate in human sacrifice it's just a form of human sacrifice they just reworded it to water it down to make these people feel that it's okay and it's something that's considered a, a responsible decision yeah you know and it's not yeah and that's legalized all the way through the highest court in the land man with the roe v wade yeah that just shows you the the, the place that we're in man <laughs> that's right you know? um but i got another precept it's the book of first thessalonians 5 and 22 it says abstain from all appearance of evil so mm -hmm. that means you're not supposed to do anything that appears to be evil and mm -hmm. celebrating halloween has a lot of appearances of evil all over it man yeah that's basically the holiday yeah <laughs> i'm driving through the neighborhood man they got these new off the wall decorations bro they got these tall ass fucking um creepy figures now like they're going all out i never seen no shit Damn. like that you got you got uh, now they putting like ten feet tall, eleven feet tall skeletons out in people's yard. Ten oh, yeah, feet tall, yeah, eleven like feet tall Slenderman's. monsters and Slendermans and shit. That's yeah. something new. Bro, they they going crazy. they going deeper, man. And you know what? The Lord tells you that He's gonna play y'all with these fucking apparitions. Yeah, man. one of our real ones gonna show up. It gonna look <laughs> yeah. like you gonna be outside. It gonna look like a tree. <laughs> and them motherfuckers gonna move. Start chasing your ass. That's right, bro. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> hey, the Lord said He gonna bring the, your worst fears on you, man. That's right, man. You know? bring the worst fears upon you. That's and that's gonna happen, man. That goes in Wisdom Solomon 17 chapter, man. You know, mm -hmm. hearing all types of apparitions and spirits, you're gonna get what you asked for. You wanted to, you wanted yeah. to decorate for it. You thought yeah. it was fun, you thought it was cool. Yep. Wait till them fucking giant 10 foot damn monsters y'all put in your decorations mm -hmm. in your yard. Wait till the Lord puts a demon into that thing. Yeah. Like he does Annabelle. Yeah. And that motherfucker start moving and grab your ass out the damn window. Right. Right. Bite your head off. Yeah, and a lot of them demons, man, they've been wanting to get their hands on a lot of you niggas, man. They like uh, them booty warriors, man. Right, God. And when the Lord open up that, that, spirit, that spirit realm, <laughs> right. they might have a field day with you niggas, man. God. You know, I saw one video, I think it was on like a Snapchat or something. I don't remember where I seen it, but it was a demon in the uh, girl's house, man. She could hear it. Imagine hearing like a voice over there like, hey, come over here. Right. He was calling her by her name. God. <laughs> come over here. <laughs> <laughs> and she knew she was in the house alone. Mm. You know? Yep. And you the Lord could put you in a in a time portal, man. Make make you seem like that shit lasted for a month, but only is really just one night. You know? Because the Lord is, is the king of terrors, man. You know? That's why we that's why we move with fear, man. You don't have to ask us to 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 uh to err on the side of caution, man. That's why the scriptures say abstain from the appearance of evil, man. You know? Because the man that's abstaining from the appearance of evil, that's the man that really fears the Lord. Because he don't even want to look like he's doing something that, that's going to bring a reproach. You know? 
That's right, bro. Yeah, you got something? Bro? I was going to read this. Uh, First Samuel 28. Okay. This is the matter with uh, King Saul. And it says, uh, First Samuel 28 and 1, And it came to pass in those days that the Philistines gathered their armies together for warfare to fight with Israel. And Akish said unto David, Know thou assuredly that thou shalt go out to <coughs> meet the battle, thou and thy men. And David said to Akish, Surely thou shalt know what thy servant can do. And Akish said to David, Therefore will I make thee keeper of mine head forever. Now Samuel was dead, and all Israel had lamented him and buried him in Ramah, even in his own city. And Saul had put away those that had familiar spirits and the wizards out of the land. So Saul did uh, actually did a righteous thing earlier on. He found all of the wizards because you always had niggas into it, man. That shows you right there. Even when you had the kingdom set up back then, you had niggas in different corners, reading poems and doing all kind of dumb shit. And uh, King Saul had got rid of it at one point. And verse 4, it says, And the Philistines gathered them to gathered themselves together and came and pitched in Shunem and Saul gathered all Israel together and they pitched in Gilboa and when they saw and when Saul saw the host of the Philistines he was afraid and his heart greatly trembled all right now you got to remember at this time Saul had already started going off man you know he had already been disobedient he'd already wanted to uh, uh, do whatever the, uh, the hell he wanted to do Mm -hmm. You know, and that's mainly with that matter of the Amalekites. The Lord said, go and smite everybody. <laughs> and he, he wanted to, to have his own glory. But verse five, it says, and when Saul saw the host of the Philistines, he was afraid and his heart greatly trembled. And when Saul inquired of the Lord Jehovah, the Lord Jehovah answered him not, neither by dreams, nor by Orem, nor by the prophets. Mm. So the Lord shut him off, man. He stopped talking to him. Even by Urim, and if you know what the Urim is, it's part of the Urim and the Thum. That's basically like an uh, ancient cell phone device, man. Like the Levites had a way to basically mm -hmm. communicate with the Most High, you know. And so Saul couldn't get in touch with the Most High at all. He got shut off, man. All right. And it says, and when uh, it says, then said, verse 7, then said Saul unto his servants, uh, seek me a woman that hath a familiar spirit, that I may go to her and inquire of her. And his servant said to him, Behold, there is a woman that hath a familiar spirit at Endor. You see? <laughs> so, because he gets in touch with the Most High, what does he do? He goes to the left hand side. Right. He tries to be, he doubles down on his rebellion. That's right, man. You know? And that's what these modern day wicked, wicked people do when they go to these fortune tellers and terror mm -hmm. readings because the Lord ain't hearing you with that Christian shit. Yeah, you know? yeah. You, can, you, you gotta be, a, uh, you gotta be in the truth, man. You gotta know the true name of how about you and how shy. Mm -hmm. You gotta learn about praying and fasting to get a spiritual answer from the Lord. To hear it from the right-hand side, it, it requires to put in some work, but yeah. it's extremely easy to get an answer from the left-hand side. You ain't gotta do no work. Mm -hmm. All you gotta do is pop up to a witch, terror yeah. reader, Come on in. and you're gonna hear, a, you're gonna hear a, a reaction instantly. Yeah. You get your Ouija board, you're going to see a reaction instantly. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it, it don't take any work. Why? Because that's the wrong way to go. It's easy to sell your soul. That's right, man. I remember even Yahweh Shai got uh, forsaken for a period of time when he had to when he had to bear that, that cross. God. <laughs> you know, so the Lord ain't just not going to answer anybody anytime you want, man. Right. But Saul, that ain't good enough for him. And that's the spirit that y'all are in, man. You want to manifest shit on your own, man. That's right. What the man. hell are you doing in, in your life? How dare you? How dare you put your how about Chanel Shaw on your terms? Yeah, answer me now, <laughs> right? Or answer me right now. No, it don't. It don't work like that. He's right. above you. You answer to him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <Wicked niggas. laughs> he says, verse eight, and Saul disguised himself and put on other raiment because he knew he was being wicked, and he went, and two men with him, and they came to the woman by the night, and he said, I pray thee, divine unto me by the familiar spirit, and bring me him up. Whom I shall name unto thee. So he's like, I want to get in touch with somebody in the spirit world. <laughs> That's when you're talking to a witch, man. Right. Right. And it says, and the woman said unto him, Behold, thou knowest what Saul hath done. All right. And it says, How he hath cut off those that have familiar spirits and the wizards out of the land. Wherefore then layest thou a snare for my life to cause me to die. 
<laughs> so she thought Saul was trying to set him up because before Saul had kicked all the witches and the wizards all the, out of the land, you know, she's in an outskirt and indoor somewhere. She's like, why are you coming to me now? Right. You know? Mm -hmm. And it says, verse 10, and Saul swear to her by the Lord Jehovah. He swore to a witch, bro. Mm. This, this is why the Lord got his ass. See, that's when the demons get on you, man. This, this nigga <laughs> swore on your how about shimmy how to a witch. <coughs> All right. <laughs> And he says, as the Lord Jehovah liveth, there shall no punishment happen to thee for this thing. <laughs> then said the woman, whom shall I bring up unto thee? And he said, bring me up Samuel, who is in the spirit world. Mm. All right. Samuel had just passed. So he's trying to get back in touch with Samuel. Why? Because Samuel was the one that rebuked him the first time. Right. Samuel was the one at, it was at the hand of Samuel that he disobeyed. The Lord told Samuel what to do. Samuel gave the note to King Saul. Saul rebelled. So now he's trying to get back in touch with Samuel on the left hand side. <laughs> right. You know? <laughs> it's simple, man. It's simple two third, man. It's all yeah. they, they you can't make this shit up, as they say. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You know? And it says, verse 12, and when the woman saw Samuel, she cried with a loud voice. And the woman spake to Saul, saying, Why hast thou deceived me? For thou art Saul. <laughs> right? She didn't know that he was a that he was King Saul. All right, mm -hmm. she saw Sam, but she was like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> yeah. You know, and then in it, verse thirteen, and it says, "And the king said unto her, Be not afraid, for what sawest thou?" And the woman said unto Saul, "I saw God descending out of the earth." And he said unto her, "What form is he of?" And she said, "An old man cometh up, and he is covered with a mantle." And Saul perceived that it was Samuel. And he stooped with his face to the ground and bowed himself. And Samuel said to Saul, why hast thou disquieted me to bring me up, man? Mm -hmm. So this nigga's getting rebuked again from the spirit world. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's rebelling. And, th and this, is the, this is the energy that's on Jake, man. Mm -hmm. They, they got to do things on their term. The universe don't owe you a motherfucking thing. The most high don't owe you nothing. Mm -hmm. All right. You try to do something. I did this. Therefore, give me that. Man, it don't work like that, man. Right. You know, you don't get to slam money on the counter and demand something. The person has the right to sell it to you. You don't just get to, you know. But that that's that that's that demonic mindset that, that Jake is in, man. And I'm gonna keep going. It says, um, verse 15, and Samuel said to Saul, Why hast thou disquieted me to bring me up? And Saul answered, I am sore distressed, for the Philistines make war against me. And the Most High has departed from me and answered me no more, neither by prophets nor by dreams. Therefore, I have called thee that thou mayest make known unto me what I shall do. Hey, so you know what? <laughs> this dude is just all in the off spirit. You was already in the off spirit. You already fucked up. Yeah. You got to accept your punishment and your judgment, man. Right. Well, if, if the Lord, Yahweh, isn't answered you, what the fuck do you think Samuel going to be able to do for you? Mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's the ignorance of... Of the of niggas, man, two third niggas, man. Right. You know, if you if you were wicked and you you bet you're getting ready to reap what you sown, you're gonna have to just reap it, man. Mm -hmm. And us brothers in the truth, sometimes we fuck up too. We get chastened. But right. the correct thing to do isn't to go fucking talk to a damn witch right. and go more and do more wickedness and mm -hmm. add on to your punishment. The correct thing to do is chasten your spirit, man. Yeah. Go on a fast. Yeah. Afflict yourself. Calm. Show the Lord that you're sorry. Yep. You know, and Sam, he, Saul didn't do none of that, man. Right. He went straight to try to come to bring up Samuel from the, from the death. Mm -hmm. He'd rather do that than to, to continue to humble himself in the eye, before the eyes of the house. Yeah. Nowhere does it say he tried to fast. Right. He didn't do nothing about it. He just tried to get some answers in here. None. Oh, I guess I'll go ahead and talk to a witch. Yeah. Yeah. And, and this chapter is really the complete opposite or the inverse of Psalms 51. And you can see why the Lord chose David, because his heart, even when David went off, he had he was ready to take his punishment. Right. He said, uh, "I would." I he said, "If there was a sacrifice, I would give it, but I know you require a a, a, a contrite heart." Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. Right. And see, that's the dis that's the difference, man. You know. Right. And it says, uh, it says, verse sixteen. Then Samuel, then said Samuel, wherefore. Then do as thou ask of me, seeing the Lord Jehovah is departed from thee, and is become thine enemy. 
and the Lord Jehovah hath done to him as he spake by me, for the Lord Jehovah hath rent the kingdom out of thine hand, <laughs> and given it to thy neighbor, even to David. Because thou obeyest not the voice of the Lord Jehovah, nor executed his fierce wrath upon Amalek, therefore hath he that hath the Lord Jehovah done this thing unto thee this day. Moreover, the Lord Jehovah will also deliver thee, deliver Israel with thee into the hand of the Philistine. <laughs> so the Lord, he told him you're going to die. The thing that he was afraid of, that he did all of this, you know, shortcuts and going under the skies to try to get away from the Lord, said it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen to your ass, man. That's right. <laughs> and, that, and that's how we feel about you people, man. That every seeking the ancestors, the things that y'all are, are the most afraid about, y'all pray to everything but Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because y'all are afraid of things in the world, and the things that you're afraid of, the Lord's gonna bring that upon you. Yes, it says in the scriptures too. He says he's gonna bring the worst fears upon you, man. Yeah. As right. punishment. Right. And so all the things that people are afraid of on Halloween, they try to go and, and experience and watch movies and face some of their fears and they put the put the scary stuff out. Hey, you're gonna experience real life versions of this. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to go into this real quick in the Book of Wisdom, Psalm 17 chapter, and we're going to close it out. But this just goes to show you real the real spooky season that's approaching. That's right. And it's going to be a plague of Egypt that's going to return. The plague of mm -hmm. darkness, which you've heard about maybe in a Christian church, they don't elaborate on the details of what that plague of darkness what was happening. Mm -hmm. But the Book of Wisdom, Psalm 17 chapter, goes in detail yeah. of what you people are about to yeah. experience. Uh, that's one of my favorite chapters, yeah. too. <laughs> the Book of Wisdom, Psalm chapter 17. Um, I'll start at verse 1. It says, For great are thy judgments and cannot be expressed. Therefore, unnurtured souls have erred. For when the unrighteous men thought to oppress the holy nation, they being shut up in their houses, the prisoners of darkness, and fettered with the bonds of a long night, lay their exile from eternal providence. Okay, so this is the plague of darkness we're going into. It says, For while they supposed to lie, in, to lie hid, in their secret sins, they were scattered on a, a dark veil of forgetfulness, being horribly astonished and troubled with strange apparitions. <laughs> That's called paranormal activity today. Yeah. Okay. It said horribly <laughs> astonished, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it says, for neither might the corner that held them, so they're in the corner hiding, right? Keep them from fear, but noises of waters falling down, sounding about them. And sad visions appeared unto them with heavy countenances. No power of the fire might give them light. Neither could the bright flames of the stars endure to lighten that horrible night. Mm -hmm. Only there appeared unto them a fire kindled itself, very dreadful. For being much terrified, thought the things that, that which they saw to be worse than the sight that <laughs> saw not. <laughs> Yeah, at first they were they was panicking with all the darkness and just hearing sounds and stuff. Right. And then when they finally seen something, the thing that they saw scared the shit out of them more, right. more than the darkness did. Imagine being in a jet pitch black room and you can't feel nothing, can't see nothing, but a fireball just pops up in fucking front of you and it's folding in itself. Yeah. That, that, that would terrify you, man. Yeah. Yep. Okay, and it says, um, verse 7, as for the illusions of art magic, they were put down, and their vaunting and wisdom was reproved with disgrace. For they that promised to drive away terrors and troubles from a sick soul were sick themselves of fear, worthy mm -hmm. to be laughed at. Why? Why? Because you have the, the Israelites, they have light within their dwellings. So mm -hmm. they're seeing these people that are basically in a, in a daydream and mm -hmm. physically getting fucked up. And so they're rolling over the floor, they're yeah. hearing them scream, but the Israelites, they're not seeing none of these things that, that these people are seeing. Yeah. Only the wicked are going through this. Okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it says... Uh, it says, for though no terrible thing did fear them, yet being scared with beasts that passed by and hissing of serpents, they died for fear, denying that they saw the air, which could of no side be avoided. For wickedness condemned by her own witness is very timorous and being pressed with conscience, always forecast with grievous things. Mm -hmm. For the fear of nothing else but a betraying of the succors, which reason offereth. And expectation from within being less counted the ignorance more than the cause that bringeth the torment. Okay, so they're getting all the things that they've done wrong. Their conscience is being plagued with them as well as what this is talking about. Yeah. Okay, verse 14. But they sleeping the same, 
But they sleep in the same sleep that night, which was indeed intolerable, mm -hmm. and which came upon them out of the bottoms of inevitable hell, were partially vexed with monstrous apparitions. Okay, the slender mans. Yeah. You know, wolf mans. Mm -hmm. You know, all that shit. It says, and partially fainted, their heart failing them, for yeah. sudden fear and not look for came upon them. So they literally were dying of heart attacks from the mm -hmm. things they were seeing. Yeah. Yeah, like says, Freddy Krueger. God, <laughs> he'll get you in your dreams, but your ass is out of there in real life, man. <laughs> That's right, man. And a good visual for this, what we're reading, is the movie Silent Hill. Oh, yeah, I got to still watch that. Okay, because it shows you that, you know, they were going in and out of the, the, the spiritual realm or seeing the, the demons around them, and it would, be, it, would, it would cut off, and then everything would look normal. And they would go in another room, and boom, it would flicker on, and everything's a horror, just, just terrifying, man. Monsters mm -hmm. everywhere and shit. Okay, it says, um, it says, so whenever, so verse 16, so then whosoever there fell down was straightly kept, shut up in a prison without bars. For whether he were husbandman or shepherd or laborer in the field, he was overtaken and endured that necessity which could not be avoided, for they were all bound with one chain of darkness. Whether it were a whistling wind or a melodious noise of birds among the spreading branches or a pleasing fall of water running violently or a terrible sound of stones cast down or running that could not be seen a skipping bee. So run across the floor. <laughs> Shit, man. You can't even see it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah when I was a kid, you know, I used to watch child play. She used to freak me out and check it off. You were running around. You hear his feet like running. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck is that? It says skipping beasts. So these are bees doing this. It says or mm -hmm. roaring of most savage wild beasts, or rebounding echo from hollow mountains. These things made them swoon for fear, for mm -hmm. the whole world shone with clear light, and none were hindering in their labor. Mm -hmm. Only them, over them only was a spread of a heavy night, an image of that darkness which should after receive them, but yet were they unto themselves more grievous than the darkness. <laughs> See? You imagine being in a house like you're enclosed right here. It's pitch black. You know you're in a house and then you hear waterfalls, man. Right. You hear wild animals. God. <laughs> like, wait a minute. I was just <laughs> inside of a <laughs> a dwelling. Right. And I'm hearing, you know, they said the echoes of mountains. God. You know? You got... Yeah, <laughs> you know, bouncing off walls. Yeah, it says roaring from beasts. Yeah, like you that, know, like that sound it would have been making uh, probably the thirteen movie. <laughs> yep, yeah, there it is. You know, <laughs> that's where they get the ideas from. This shit from man. You see, so that's that's what's coming to y'all. And the people, Lord man. hates America way more than he hated those Egyptians back then, man. He hated them, but he really hates you, fucking Babylonians here, man. That's right. What do you think is getting ready to happen to you people, man? Y'all through, man. Y'all through, man. You're going to taste of this punishment, man. The Lord is coming. You wanted a spooky season. You got a real spooky season coming when, when the Lord hits this place with these plagues, bro. That's right, brother. Uh, but yeah, man. With that, man, Lord's will is less than edifying. Like we've been uh -huh. going for a minute. Uh, we're going to go ahead and close out. You got any other precepts, bro, bro? I'm good, brother. God. Uh -huh. So with that, we give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakabadash. We give double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, Tasha, truth, and will will. The side taste of your whole life is truth and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye.